By my face, hey, don't got time to waste. Yeah, I don't need permission. Is this me right here? All right, guys, so we just got into the locker room area. As you can see, they already got my name on there. Well, they have everybody's name on there, but this is why we're here, y'all. Adapt BB basketball shoe. We're about to test these out. It's my first time holding it in hand. I guess they got me a 10 and a half. How do they fit? It's 10 and a half, but they feel good. They feel really good right now. You, you signed with the Lakers too? Yes. That's why we're here, right? Yeah, today, right? Today, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. absolutely. They today, contract. Right. Here's the thing. I'm in the prime of my game right now, so oh, yeah. really in their best interest to sign me. Yeah. So to not sign me, that would be the issue. We're basically going to take them to the finals. So. Basically. Yeah. New year, new game, baby. All right. Jersey's on. Let's go get it. Lakers, baby, we in here. We just signed 10 day contract. Look at all the championships up there. Oh wow, let me see. Kobe got five of those, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, bro, look Kobe's numbers over there. So I'm trying to see like what's going on in here because like I feel like I'm wearing Batman's suit right now. Oh my feet, but you can kind of see like a ribbon right here. And then the thing they told us like the lace, oh I can see the lace right there. This reminds me of the Jordan 34s right here, or the 33s I mean. It's crazy because not only did they focus on the lace, like on the, f the foot itself, but the string, the shoelace actually goes back here. So when it tightens, it's the front and the back collapsing together to like really secure the foot. So that's why it feels so good right now. We'll see how it feels on court. Like I want to know if I'm going to be able to feel the little the little chip, you know what I mean? Am I going to feel that when I'm playing or what? But I'm excited. I've already ordered my pair. I don't think I get to leave with these today, but I've already ordered my pair. I ordered a 10. These are a 10 and a half. They do fit a little snug, obviously, because it's going to adapt to your foot. That's why it's called the adapt. Ten and a half feels good. Like I kind of wish I ordered a ten and a half because these feel good. So basically, yeah. you're saying you're scared that the ten might not fit the you. The ten might be a little bit tight, but then again, you can adjust it. So yeah. I'll maybe play with that one a little bit looser than I play with this one. Traction looks good. Feels good. I mean, this is a freaking NBA court, so it's gonna obviously this is a really good court to test these out on. Shout out to Nike for having me. This is actually really exciting. So I'm excited to you know play basketball and test these out and give my feedback to you guys as well as to them. I think we're going. Right, let's get it. Hey, this can't believe it, man. That's all they gonna say. See these plays up on my Spotify. That's money in the bank up on my face. Hey, don't got time to waste. Yeah. I don't need permission. I'm a dude. That court is big. NBA courts are big. So far, so good. The ball's super slippery, but I need to loosen them up a little bit. I have them too tight. Feels good, though. Feels good. Feels like a pair of Kobe's. That's what. If I had to compare them to anything, I'd say they're like a brand new pair of Kobe's fresh out the box right now. Hopefully, with some breaking in. They get more and more comfortable, but they feel good right now. Here's the thing. So that's like three games straight. I'm like, I don't know if the people in the front office are watching, if, if somebody's hiding behind something. It's just like, the game's extraordinary right now. Like, they want me to go back in. Like, it's, I, I'm tired, but, I, but I'll do it for my team. You know what I mean? I remember back when they said, I won't do a thing now. Shawty, why you talking? Huh? That's why you a flame. Ooh. Did it by myself. No, no, no. I don't need a team. I took famous in the fire. I might go and do that team. Now I go. Man, I tell them all what's up now. All that they all wanna fuss now. Tell them look around in the city. Uh. When I look around, it's just us now. Man, they wanna kick it when I touch now. Why you wanna DNS that's us now. Talking about family, my cousin now. Calling me B, I got a buzz now. Yeah, now I got it going. I just. No, it ain't just for the moment. Bro, I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> That's how you can distract your uh, your defender when you're playing in a game. We're done hooping. Played a lot of games. All you gotta do to unlace them, press one button right there. Completely unlaced just with one button. Yeah, man I want to give you guys my honest review about these shoes once we get to the actual to my crib But literally as we're speaking right now the man who's been wearing these shoes on court just walked in Kyle Kuzma of the Los Angeles Lakers if you can just tell people about what your experience was and uh, In those games and how you're feeling about the product I mean when I first thought it was crazy because I didn't really understand like how she was gonna like, I, I thought it was gonna slip off my foot honestly. I always wear Kobe Bryant shoes like the Kobe AD, that's like my favorite shoe. And you know, for me, it's like it's 
exact same shoe. So that's why it kind of bowls mm. well with me. You know, everything about it, you know, it's giving me a lot of ankle support, but ankle mobility as well to move, you know, get through tight places and how I play. All right, guys, so I just got back to the crib. Actually, I got back like 10 hours ago, but we've just been hanging out because we do have a few guests over here, which I'll show you guys. But basically, oh man, what a great day we had. A huge shout out to Nike Basketball for inviting me to come to the Lakers facility and test out, test out the Adapt BBs for the first time ever seeing them in hand, putting them on my feet and playing with them. So basically the, the part you guys are waiting for is like, how does it feel on court? Honest review of how the sneaker feels on court. I'm not gonna be biased because if I'm biased just because I was invited to a Nike event, this wouldn't be a, a fair review for you guys. So I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion on this shoe. The lacing technology is dope. Like obviously that there's nothing wrong with it. It, it feels amazing. I've already explained how the shoe basically not only ties from the, the front of the shoe, but also there's this, the top of the strings come from the back of the shoe and it basically cuffs your whole foot. So that's that's a dope feel. It feels really good. It feels like it's gonna slip off when you first wear it. Like you're like, how is this a basketball shoe? But once you start playing, there's no problems with the shoe coming off. Uh, overall, like the overall fit was absolutely amazing and the more I played in it, the more I could feel that it was adjusting to my foot and getting more comfortable. One thing that I did notice was, and one thing that I wanted to find out was, was I going to feel the actual like lacing system with my foot that is obviously in the middle of the shoe. And there was times when I actually did feel it, but it was towards the beginning. What they explained to us was basically, so this is an auxetic material and what this does upon force, generally when you apply force to something, the material wants to move outward. This basically attracts all the force, making it so that you're not impacting or crushing the sock liner. So we did that because the housing that exists underneath the foot is something that we wanna dissipate some of those forces you feel from the component. Basically, when you put pressure on it, it goes towards the middle of the shoe. Therefore, when you wear it more, it kind of becomes more cushioned on the middle of the shoe, which prevents your foot from feeling that little box that has the lacing system in it. So in the beginning, I could feel it, but after a few games, I couldn't feel it at all and it got more comfortable. To make things easier, I would say that this shoe feels like some of the best Kobe's, like the Kobe 8, the Kobe 9, a little bit of the Kobe, I didn't really like the Kobe 10, so I don't want to compare it to the Kobe 10, the Kobe 8, the Kobe 9, and the Kobe 11. Those are my favorite Kobe's to like actually play in. So I'd compare it to those three Kobe's, like low top, really close to the ground. It felt like a, a new version of a Kobe with a futuristic lacing system. If you guys love playing in Kobe's, you will definitely love playing in the adapt BBs. That's the best way that I can describe it for you. Now, honestly, is it worth the price point? How much was it? 350. 350 is a little steep for a basketball shoe, but you got to understand that they're still trying to make the price lower with the auto lacing system. So it's obviously way better than the $700 price of the regular hyper adapt. Like it's better than that, but it's not an average price that someone would want to pay for a basketball shoe, but I personally think it's worth it just for it being the first of its kind. And everybody's been asking me, even close friends, like, is it worth it to like, you know, actually hoop in? And I really think so. Like if you like to test out these types of shoes, if you like playing in low top Kobe's, like this is definitely a great shoe to play in. Despite the auto lacing system, despite all the hype with that, like it's actually a really great shoe and I cannot actually wait for my pair to come in. Now, my only concern is that I ordered a 10. Today, I played in a 10 and and a half and the 10 and a half felt perfect so I'm scared that that 10 is gonna be a little too snug but again it's auto lacing so I could just loosen it up a little bit and it, it will feel better so we'll see when it comes but I personally would suggest maybe going a half size up as of right now I'll give you guys an update when I get my 10 in the mail next month and I'm actually gonna play more in those so so overall I give the adapt BB two thumbs up like I really suggest it to any hooper like it's it's dope you don't have to worry about your shoes becoming untied all you got to do is just press the little button like literally tap it once and it gets a little snug It feels great traction was amazing like the support in the heel area was amazing like everything overall It was great. I had no complaints about the shoe. So yeah, so that's my honest review with the shoe I definitely will be playing in it again Like I said and again shout out to Nike for having me and putting me in such a dope experience today Like I had a really really great time. So yeah, man adapt BB anyway, everybody's here with me So let's see let's check in check, check out what's going on. We got uh, oh, UK's. Uh, Biggest high fees and scammer. 
Are you talking to Chris? This yeah, I was talking to Chris. There he is. Farouk over here sleeping in my sneaker room. You know, someone commented on your video. $100,000 collection, but you live in a one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? We're back in again with another YouTube video. Damn, Come Chris saved me. And then I was like, I know, what a scam. He makes me sleep on the floor every time. Wow. Ooh. I'm giving you the futon, fam. That bed right there, that mattress right there, that's the mattress I used to sleep on when I first moved to LA. When I did not have a bed frame. When I didn't have a bed frame, I used to sleep on the ground. And people were like, why don't you have a bed frame? Why are you sleeping on the ground? That's kind of we couldn't afford one back then fam. We just afforded the Ikea mattress. I'm only in this apartment for I'm only in this apartment for three more months in three months Me and Mina will be living together and that we'll both be sleeping on that one person mattress Another thing I got to tell you guys we have all the podcast equipment and the dream crew podcast will be coming Very very soon as soon as as next week, we should be filming the first episode with Ari. So Ari's gonna be my first guest. Really? But the, I don't find told that. yeah, you don't know that. I'm telling you now. So the Dream Crew podcast. So the reason why the reason why it's taken so long to start the podcast, which I've had this idea for like over seven, eight months, is because I I have Chris asked Chris. You know damn well. <laughs> You just forgot to record it and edit it, right? No, it's I always wanted to do it out of a studio, but I never wanted to do it out of my apartment. But sometimes Yo, I gave him the list, literally like he gave me ago. Yeah, he gave me the list three months ago of stuff I need to buy and I never bought any of it. And then my boy Ali Baluch sent me a list of stuff that he uses for his podcast. And I bought all that stuff and it's legit so easy to set up. But basically, this is my mindset. I didn't want to start it out of my apartment. I wanted to start it out of a studio because I wanted it to be more professional. But then I thought about crew kicks. When I started crew kicks, I wasn't receiving sneakers from companies. I wasn't, I did that in my house. Like it was just like, if you really want to make it happen, you got to make it grind. You got to do it, do what you got to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the park, uh, the podcast from the apartment. Right there. Then we're gonna get a studio. Then we're gonna get a studio. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is for the next few months, while I'm still at this apartment, we're gonna start the podcast from here, and then in a few months, hopefully, we're gonna save up from all the money we make from the podcast and put that invested into a studio so that the content and the podcasts get better for you guys. Yeah, I've talked too much now. The reason why Ari is here is because we're actually going to Phoenix this weekend because we're having the pop up on Saturday in I flew Phoenix. Here with my own money. He flew here with his own money for the. Po <laughs> So yeah, so if you are going to be in Arizona this weekend, make sure you guys come to our pop-up. It's me, Ari, Blazendary, Yeezy Busta, Tony D, Jacob Starr, Harrison Neville. I think I named everybody. There's seven of us. We're going to have exclusive seven merch, which is actually going to be fire. So make sure you come out. We're going to be doing sneaker giveaways, and it's just going to be absolutely insane. And then also, I'm going to be going to the Royal Rumble this weekend. So that's going to be epic. All right, guys, too much talking. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this BB uh, Adapt Review or the Adapt BB Review. I'm I'm out of here. Peace, Dream Crew. That was a bad intro. Okay, let me restart that. All right, let's do a group intro outro. Ready? One, two, three, go. Have a good Thanks, day. Thanks, boys. This is your boy, you kids, because Ty Beast, Ari Petro. We are signing out on Kai's Omar's channel. Like and subscribe. Smash the like on this video. Get me to 2 million subscribers by next week, and we will see you in the next video. I thought hey, you were going to. gonna go buy the new five pillars. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go buy the new five pillars. Link it down below. All right, we out. Peace. Bye, my face. Hey, don't got time to waste. Yeah. I don't need permission. I'm going to do it all today. Yeah. They just can't believe it, man. That's all they going to say. See these plays up on my Spotify. That's money in the bank about my face. Hey, don't got time to waste.